Good evening. Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. President Trump is responding to calls for greater regulations on rapid fire weaponry like that used in last week's Florida school shooting and in Las Vegas last year. He's calling on the Justice Department to come up with new rules on so called bump stocks that increase the speed at which bullets can be fired. Bump stocks were used in the Las Vegas shooting, not Florida. But the move could either be a signal by this president of more things to come or a move to just do something ahead of meetings this week about the next steps after a long string of mass shootings. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts starts us off tonight from the North Lawn with an announcement no one really saw coming, John. No, because it's been more than 140 days and we've heard nothing from the president. His big event today, which we saw over your shoulder, Brett, was to honor first responders who risked their lives to save others. The Florida shooting and the issue of how to keep guns out of the hands of killers front and center. In the wake of the Douglas High School massacre, President Trump today reached back to the last mass shooting, Las Vegas, announcing that he will seek a ban on so-called bump stock that allowed the shooter there to fire off so many rounds so quickly. Just a few moments ago, I signed a memorandum directing the attorney general to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. I expect that these critical regulations will be finalized, Jeff, very soon. As he recognized today the valor of safety officers who responded to yet another mass shooting, San Bernardino in 2015, the president praised the heroism of those who sacrificed their lives last week. In the aftermath of this evil massacre, our spirits have been lifted by the accounts of bravery at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, who have shown us that the forces of love and courage are always stronger than the forces of evil and hate. Douglas High School is the first mass shooting at a school since President Trump took office. Today, he pledged to take steps he said would actually make a difference. The key in all of these efforts, as I said in my remarks the day after the shooting, is that we cannot merely take actions that make us feel like we are making a difference. We must actually make a difference. The president will hold listening sessions this week on school shootings. Tomorrow, he will meet students and teachers from Douglas High School, Sandy Hook Elementary, and other schools. Thursday, he'll meet with state and local officials to hear what they have to say. President Trump has voiced support for a Senate bill that seeks to make the background check system more efficient. But when pressed, the press secretary indicated more needs to be done. The president is uh, very focused on mental illness, working with uh, the Health and Human Services Department to determine uh, the best path forward on that and what is available and allowed under the law. Unfortunately, we can't just flip a switch, but there is a process. There, we are a law and order country, and the president is is trying to do everything that he can under his capacity to address these concerns and certainly when it comes to mental illness. The White House today also defended a tweet President Trump was widely criticized for. On the weekend, he said that the FBI missed all of the many signals sent out by the Florida school shooter because they are spending too much time trying to prove Russia collusion with the Trump campaign. He's making the point that we would like our FBI agencies to, to not be focused on something that is clearly a, a hoax and in terms of investigating the Trump campaign and its involvement. Four days after Robert Mueller announced indictments against 13 Russians for interfering in U.S. elections, President Trump today faulted the Obama White House for not taking Russian meddling more seriously. And while the president made no effort to call out the Russians after Mueller's announcement, the White House today insisted President Trump has been far harder on Russia than the Obama administration ever was. He helped push through $700 billion to rebuild our military. He's helped export energy to Eastern Europe. He's closed three diplomatic properties uh, that were Russia's here in the United States. He's helped arm the Ukrainians. There are a number of places that Obama was too weak and refused to take and put pressure on Russia where this president has. President Trump also took a swing at the Obama White House in his memorandum to the attorney general looking to ban bump stocks, pointing out that the Obama administration repeatedly concluded that bump stocks were legal to purchase and possess. Brett? John Roberts, live on the North Lawn. John, thanks.